Hi guys, so in today's video I will be answering the question, can a beta's tank be too big? The answer to this question is probably not. Um, most betas will not get uncomfortable in a large tank, although some do because it is known for betas to feel like they may have too much territory to protect which can potentially stress them out. So they will thrive in a smaller sized tank, but when I say small I mean a tank at least 2.5 gallons, that's going to be considered small. You shouldn't have anything smaller than that because that's just not allowing your animal to have a good quality of life. But like I said, it is known for some betas to get uncomfortable in big tanks, but it's best to just assume your beta will not be. For example, I just got this guy and he is, went straight into a 5.5 gallon tank and he's doing great in it. I haven't seen any problems, but a way to spot problems on your beta could be um, maybe they start biting their fins or maybe they lose color or are a little less active But like I said, it's just best to assume that your beta will be fine in a large tank and when I say large tank I mean something at least um, 10 to 15 gallons would be considered a large tank. This guy is like I said in a 5 gallon and he is fantastic I wouldn't consider this a large tank, but for a beta that's coming from a small cup, it could be considered large. But all over the internet, you will see beta fish kept in really actually large tanks, maybe 55 gallons or 20 gallons, and they're doing fantastic. Um, of course, it all depends on your fish, but I would not say that there should be a stigma around giving your beta a large tank. Another reason why people usually just assume their beta fish won't enjoy a large tank is because there's a myth that beta fish do originate from mud puddles in Asia, and that's actually incorrect. They come from rice paddies, which are miles and miles long and several feet deep, so that's actually incorrect, and they do originate from large bodies of water. And then a big thing to keep in mind is that if you do decide to get a big tank for your beta, be sure that it isn't a tall tank. Um, when I say tall, I mean vertically tall, tall and skinny. Um, because beta fish do actually breathe air from the surface, you'll see this guy go up and down on, in his tank getting air from the surface. And imagine how stressful it would be holding your breath in a deep swimming pool and it taking you a long time to get to the surface and you're worried you'll run out of air and just having a beta fish worry about that all the time can actually make them ill from all the stress. So it's important that your tank is more horizontal um, than vertical. Fish tanks that are often labeled as long tanks are best for beta fish. For example, you can buy a 20 gallon long aquarium or sometimes they're advertised as breeder style tanks. So if you do decide to have a large tank for your beta fish, you will need to take care of it like a large tank. It isn't that much different from having a smaller or average size beta tank, but you do need to take note of a few things. It will need a stronger filter, but not a filter with too much current for your beta fish. Internal filters are good as long as their flow isn't too harsh because beta fish do have long fins and that, that could potentially make it hard for them to swim in their tank. You also will need to have a heater. Heaters are required for beta fish as they're tropical fish, but make sure you have a heater that is large enough to heat the entire tank at an even temperature. But yeah, I hope that clears everything for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing the lovely, beautiful Brick. <laughs> That's a funny name. But uh, you have a great rest of your weekend and thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.